Hello YouTube and Mr. Fox getting into a habit of recording these tutorials quite late, so um don't want to wake the neighbours, so I can't be too loud, but um you can hear me, I can hear you, well I can't, but I can hear your cheering after watching this tutorial. So I had a few questions saying, made a scene in Maya, how do I render it or put it in After Effects? Um, we'll actually use After Effects as an example, maybe. So what we want to do, I'm just going to create a nice simple scene. Um, let's start in a square. Sphere. Cone and one ring. Donut. That's it, that was rubbish. One more donut. Like that, beautiful. And then, I'm just going to quickly, just to give it a bit of motion, create a um, circle for as a motion path. And when we create our camera, we're going to go into our animation, shift select our motion path, animate, motion paths, attach the motion path. There we go. Beautiful. Now, to save time, we're going to change our duration to 24 frames. And we're going to highlight this 48 frames and change that to 24. So now we've got a project that is 24 frames long. And if we go into our um, view, if we change this to, sorry, um, if we change this to our camera, we can see that we've created a nice simple animation. Beautiful, beautiful. Talk to me. Okay, so we want to render our camera view. How do we do that? Well, first things first, let's just render frame one. Hit this button up here. I am I'm not sure if this is in 2010 and below. If it you work in 2010 and below, press this button here in our rendering shelf. And as you can see it's rendering the wrong one. So what we can do is go render, sorry, options, render settings, and it gives you an option of which camera you want to use. Change renderable cameras, change that to camera one, select this view, and now we're gonna hit our render. And as you can see it's rendered our camera just how we want it. Let's change some of the options in the render settings. We want it to be camera one. Choose Z depth and alpha channel. So what we want. Change the image format, we're going to use PNG because it's quite simple and small sized. And change this to multi frame here or like that. We don't need more add a bit of padding that basically if you've got a lot of frames and you want more padding, that's basically how many zeros before the number. Um, quite useful sometimes. Let's go down here. We're going to set it to 720p and there's a frame range. We can change this to 24, which is how long our composition is. Make sure our start frame is at 1, which it is. And then we go into our render menu, which is here. And change render, go to render and batch render. And this is going to launch our batch render monitor. It's going to tell us some information down here whilst it works away at that. It's going to tell us which frame it's on. And then we have a look in our folder that we designated to save into um, to choose where it saves. Save image. You can designate a place here. So when we go into our finder, we see that. We've got a few new frames here. Now, because they don't not list us as PNG, luckily the computer knows what they are. And as you can see, we've got a nice simple animation, and we can bring that into After Effects. So we've saved our files, we've exported our sequence. Now, obviously, depending on what software you're using, um, it depends on what you want to export it as. But the bottom line is, you've now exported it ready to use in another application so hope this was useful thank you for watching and um, i was using i'm using um maya 2011 which is uh, new i'm just using the trial at the moment i should be buying it hopefully in the next couple of months 
and then I can produce some tutorials. I was, it was toxic, but it's now changed its name to Autodesk Composite. Um, I imagine because they want to um, disassociate it as an actual product and more of a companion for Maya, which is what it is. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the first Maya tutorial in a while. And I'll see you guys soon with some more tutorials, and we're going to be creating some pretty cool stuff. This was just a bit of a warm-up just to get back into Maya for you guys and for myself. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.